Oh my gosh. Anyway, top five reasons for your program to hire Will Wade. And this is dedicated to you, Garrett. My man, appreciate you. All right. Number five. He brings an edge. Like if you are missing, if you are missing that, he certainly brings an edge. You watch the way McNeese State plays, they don't give a you know what? Like they just go out there and play and hoop, and he brings an edge to them um, that they just there's a swagger, an edge, whatever you want to call it. And uh, Garrett's kind of got me on board on this, you know, just watching. Like I went back and I've been like looked at the stats and the way that they play, and you know, looking at the bracket this week. I I think it would be foolish if you've got an opening to not at least consider him. Now, look, not everybody's a fit everywhere, you know, but. If you have got a, a culture that would fit him and a program that needs a spark, like I, I know Louisville won't do it because like they're hiring another coach that got caught up in the same thing that they were caught up in. But that's the kind of coach that probably Louisville needs right now to shoot some energy into the program for sure. Yeah, uh, he is fiery. He will bring a personality and an edge, as you said, to whoever he goes to, and he'll win. Mm -hmm. And he'll win. Number four. Is that one of the five? Yeah. <laughs> he he can recruit. Well, we know Look, that. And, and, and even better now because he can do it anyway. <laughs> yeah. Um, and he can bring guys in. Look what he did with McNeese State. He just turned around and Garrett hustled, hustled and got. Took everybody. Yeah. yeah. Hustled and went and got these guys. Now, are those guys going to be at McNeese State next year if Will Wade is not? No. Probably not. But he's gotten guys to McNeese State that probably would have normally gone there. You know, and, and put together – uh, I use this analogy a lot, but that like Las Vegas Golden Knights roster of, uh, you know, maybe not a, a superstar, but they've got a, you know, like all their lines are twos, you know, as where yep. everybody else doesn't have that, you know, so um, they they kind of have that all the way around and he can absolutely go out there and recruit and look, he was doing it at LSU. There's no doubt about ben that. Simmons, I mean, yeah, exactly. And um, he got the most out of Ben Simmons than anybody's ever gotten out ever. of Ben Simmons. Ever. Ever. Ben Simmons without Will Wade is, I mean, you know, it's like a just a, a slice of a, I, I went a back toast and, without butter on it. For some reason, I went back and looked at him the other day as far as the games he's played. And I think there was one year where he was out most of the year. He has missed an inordinate amount of games. And sometimes injuries or... I he's think not, I yeah. think I think he's got two problems. I think he's, he zones out a little bit, and he's, then he's just like, oh, I'm done. He's injury prone. That's not probably and, fair, but and he's also got a big case of the I don't want us, and exactly. you're paying me anyway. Yep, there you so, go. So there I you agree. go. And I mean paying a bunch of money. Yeah, yep. he's making a lot. I keep kicking this thing out. I've Would you stop it. grabbing my knee? <laughs> Number three. He's not stuck in the past. This is not a guy who not a retread. No, and he's not a retread, and he's also not stuck in the, this is the way that we should do things. This is the way that it was, you know? And I think that that's important. What was that, that you said the other day? That's the way you used to do it, and we liked it. Yeah, Somebody that's said the way that it was, us. and yeah. we liked it. Yeah. You know, and, like, you can't do that anymore. You can certainly, you know, have ideals and goals and morals and all those things, but you do have to, and we asked uh, Dave Aranda when he sat right here about this, like you have to find that line of what the new world is, what you want the world to be and what you're comfortable doing in the new world. That way you don't, you don't mess with your ethics, but you also don't like, you don't live on in an ivory tower. Right. That's that's the advice I would give to Dabo Sweeney, as a matter of fact. Like, look, I know you don't like it, but find the way that it works for you so that you're not the only one sitting by yourself going, ah, I don't like this transfer portal. Well, everybody else likes it. You know, like you can't, yeah. you know, Dabo, like, Dabo Sweeney's kind of like me with Kenny Chesney. You know, like <laughs> he's out on the hill alone. <laughs> one of these days he's going to come up to you. You're going to bump into him at I don't know what event. He's going to start singing to you. Look you deep in the eyes, and you're going to melt. I want to say, listen, can we be friends, but you never sing to me again? Yeah. This is my problem with you. It has nothing to do with your personality. You seem like a nice guy. I just don't like this whole thing. Uh, number two, he will hustle NIL. And when I say hustle NIL, I don't mean about recruiting. He will make sure that it is secured. And that he that you are he because he believes in it. He knows how to go and do it, and it is a huge part 
now. Like, it is... I think one of the things, and I brought this up, I think I did earlier in the week about Scott Drew, the Louisville, uh, whatever the noise was, and, of course, that was never to the point where it was even on, like, number... It was... It was perhaps it was there, but it was never really going... Is that I think one of the things Scott would like to have better at Baylor is that he doesn't have to hustle as much to do the NIL, like the tournament in Detroit. I want, I, you know, and again, GXG is helping a great deal, but I think he wants something even more so from the Baylor perspective outside of what GXG well, does and, and what he does. And the thing is, is that even if Will Wade gets what Scott Drew you right. know, wants or here, he, they still know how to do it. They still are willing to do it. They still know the avenues to do because if Scott says, hey, let's go make a deal with this tournament in Detroit, I'm going to go coach, Like that's what he wants is for somebody else to do that so that he can focus on other things. Yep. Um, but Will Wade knows how to do that. So I, I think that that's something because hustling NIL is going to be a big thing. He also – clearly has no problem making deals. Listen to the phone call. Yep. <laughs> Just listen to the famous phone call. Yeah, yeah. He's fine with that. And number one, he wins. The dude Oh, I wins. stole that from you. Yeah. You stole he that from wins. Yeah, he does. He absolutely wins. He gets W's. And if you're a program that's that's stuck there, look. Um, Patino. Um, do, you know, do you know who he's a fit Bru for? Uh, Bruce Pearl. Guys if, that have been through if, Kelvin if, Sampson. If everybody else is too afraid to go hire him or doesn't want that, you know who I know won't be right now who just fired their coach today? SMU. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh. SMU and Will Wade would be a great match. A great match. He's in a great basketball league in the ACC. Uh even at, look, if Florida State and Clemson leave, that's not hurting the basketball. No. You know, I know Clemson's in the tournament this year, but, you know, congratulations to you. It's the same thing as when Florida State gets in. Like, ooh, we got a cookie. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> we're not going to win the thing. So he's going into a good basketball league. He's going to a, a school that is. Uh, pushed all their chips to, to the middle of the table on NIL and the new way of doing things so they can they can stay in the new world of college athletics. But, yeah, he's going to win. So And, look, I wouldn't be surprised if they fired Rob Lanier knowing that they can go get Will Wade because so many schools have a bug up their ass about it uh, that they're like, whoa, we We're can't do touch that. Him. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, well, somebody brought that up with Texas if, in fact, they were to oh, go. Yeah. And I, I don't think they would. Yeah, I think that's one of those where they would rather, you know, remember the kid from Lake Travis who did something with the bully, you know, yeah, whatever. That's, a good, point. And, uh, that's a good point. Yeah, and they're just they, and I and you got to give them credit for that. They they've taken maybe like the Sarkeesian thing could be considered a possible risk, but that's 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 something different than like uh, uh, what is a. Um, what's the word I'm looking like something that could be like very legal or a little bit of whoa. Be careful. I'm sure a lot of coaches or a lot of ADs would like to hire him that probably won't be given that opportunity. All right, Paul, thank you very much. Texas and Colorado State early on. Colorado State – 